Our next guest is no stranger to controversy or to politics. She used to be a conservative, defending the free market and private charity. Now she's an icon of the left as the founder of the world's largest liberal blog, The Huffington Post. She's the author of the new book, Third World America, How Our Politicians Are Abandoning the Middle Class and Betraying the American Dream. Arianna Huffington, thanks for joining me today. Good to be with you. Do you trust the government? I trust the government when they are doing good, and I don't trust them when they are doing things like bailing out Wall Street without bailing out Main Street, costing the taxpayer hundreds of billions of dollars. I don't trust them when they keep us in Afghanistan, when they take us into wars that uh, do not promote our national security. But do you trust the government to be truthful with us? You know the government lies, steals, and, and cheats. But your book wants more government in our lives. No, what my book is saying is that the government and the politicians have betrayed the middle class, that they have spent hundreds of billions of dollars actually favoring the financial elites. I mean, look at what happened on Wall Street. That is a great example of what right. I'm talking about. We are spending two billion eight hundred million dollars a week in afghanistan that's government and that's not helping the american Your people book points out three serious problems that you have educate we you have with society education is in shambles nobody disagrees with that the economy is crashing nobody disagrees with that the infrastructure is crumbling nobody disagrees with that well guess who runs education who regulates the economy and who owns the infrastructure the government that you well, like so much. Look at right now. With you. But look, for example, right now with the, at infrastructure. If we don't have some big, bold infrastructure projects, we're going to have more of what happened in California when pipes burst, people died, and homes were destroyed. Is it the job of the federal government to tell California how deep the gas pipes should be, or no. to tell Louisiana where British Petroleum should drill? It's for the its oil? job of government to maintain basic infrastructure in this country: the highways, the electric pipes this is the job of government also it is but not you know the job of government not, you know it. that's not in the constitution you know the framers never wanted the federal government to take care of roads and highways the way you do so who do you think should take care of roads and highways well it would be nice if private enterprise would you once believed that didn't you oh you know i always believe that there's a huge role for private enterprise and i do that too i mean if you go to the section five of my book it's all about private solutions to many of our problems i don't believe that it's all government. I believe that we need to reach out and help those in need. I believe that we need to actually use what's happening online, as many people are doing, to help the unemployed, to help those who are falling on hard times, to help those who are losing their homes. That is essential. It's not about delegating our well, compassion you, to government. Do you understand only. that there are certain limited functions for the federal government and the rest of government activity is to be by the states? Or do you want Washington to save people's homes just like it saved the big banks? Oh, I totally believe in what the states are doing. But look at what's happening right now. States are cutting services everywhere. People are suffering in this country. We have 27 million people. Should the government either, redistribute wealth? Work? Well, do you mean taxation? Are you against all taxes? Well, I, I, here's what I'm against, and I think you probably are too. Government taking your money and giving it away in your name. State it differently. If you give people unemployment insurance for two years, as is now the case, what incentive do they have to get a job? Oh, honestly, you can't possibly believe that. There are, there are millions of people in this country who are filing hundreds of job applications, who are working very hard to get a job. There are no jobs. And there jobs. are millions of people Look in this country data. who are happy to have the government provide for them because the government just keeps providing. Well, if you really think that people are on unemployment because uh, they are lazy, then you are not talking to millions of people in this country who are desperate, desperate to get a job. They would do anything. Just, yeah. just go to any service. Just go to recessionwire.com. Go to howigotlaidoff.com. I understand. And, you can and, I know, and I know, those, and I know those websites, stories. just like I know the Huffington Post. Ten years ago, 15 years ago, you wouldn't have been saying this. You would have been saying that government is best, which governs least. No, actually, you would have said private enterprise should address these problems. You would have said less government regulation capitalism will produce more jobs. Well, still then that? I saw certain things that happened. I mean, look at what less government regulation produced. It produced the BP oil spill. There wasn't enough regulation, and the regulators wait, 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 were wait, 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 wait captured a minute. by wait a the minute. BP wanted to drill in 500 feet of oil. The federal government made them drill in 5,000 feet of oil, where nobody has, had ever drilled before. Oh, yeah, you know, and BP that. didn't want to do that, right? Because they didn't. there were no profits there. BP did what was in the interest, in the short-term interest, 
interest of BP. And unfortunately, that was not in the long-term interest of the country. The same happened with Shouldn't, all those Wall Street firms isn't that the took short excessive term, risk. Isn't the short-term interest of investors good for capitalism? Stated well, differently, who creates more jobs, BP or the federal government? Here is the truth. Look at what happened when investors on Wall Street took excessive risks in pursuit of their own short-term interests. They ended up uh, going bankrupt in the case of Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns, and they ended up putting us all at risk. I mean, I don't want too big to fail banks. I want them to take risk if they would must, but against, not at would our you expense. Have been against TARP? I would have been against TARP. Would you have been I would have against... been, excuse me, I, I'm still against TARP the way it was done, without conditions, without strings attached. It was one of the most disastrous government programs, and we're still or paying on, a price on that, for that. On that, we agree. But you think the federal government has the power to bail people out, and I ask you, where is that in the Constitution? I think the federal government has the responsibility to provide for infrastructure, to help with the, those in need, and at the same time to make sure that the certain basic regulations are in place. But How I don't think the government should pursue wars you against our interests. You made your name as a conservative Republican, and now you want the government to do for people what they can't do for themselves. How can anybody take you seriously? Well, uh, you obviously have not read my book. Yes, I have. I loved your book. Because I say, I say very clearly in my book that right now the middle class is crumbling, and nobody wants to live in a country without a middle class. Wouldn't this is the not middle America. class be better off with more capitalism and more jobs? I mean, Walmart gives more but jobs you know what? than the IRS. You're just, you, it, this is like a complete uh, misunderstanding of what I'm saying. Obviously, we need um, a proper capitalist system. I'm not against that. All I'm saying is that even the founders of capitalism, Adam Smith, um, Alfred Marshall, they knew that there had to be a moral foundation to capitalism. Arianna Huffington, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. A Republican senator is taking a stand on earmarks. He's defending them. And get this, he says banning earmarks, you like this, Arianna, is unconstitutional. Senator Jim Inhofe is here next.